Hi, welcome to another video. This one's a quickie. If you've got problems removing, adding or removing programs from Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and Windows 10, hopefully this guide will help and it won't cost you anything. So ever since I swapped the motherboard, I tried my son's motherboard. It was an AMD, fast AMD board, then had to install a Windows keyboard and mouse center just to get this other motherboard running. Uh, put my Intel 7 motherboard on with an Intel 7 uh, processor. Every time I started the computer, it would come up problem with Microsoft Keyboard and Mouse Center. And that's been going on for six months. Every time I start up, didn't cause any problems. I've since changed over to HP mouse and a Logitech keyboard. But it was this error message, couldn't get rid of it. Couldn't uninstall the program and couldn't reinstall it to you know, try and fix it. So. Yesterday I had a spare few minutes, thought I'd look on the internet, and this is one of the errors I was getting when trying to uninstall it, error 1612. And this page come up was SolveUsoft. So they make software that look at the registry entries, that sort of stuff, and fix it. So I thought rather than try and get some hacked software that usually comes with a virus or other programs attached, I thought I'll bite the bullet and spend £22 because it was in the sale. So I spent the £22 yesterday. So yesterday it scanned uh, scanned all the directories and found a hundred problems and fixed them. And I thought, fantastic. Restarted the PC, no, still Microsoft keyboard and mouse error. Still had the error. So I wrote to these people and said, this program hasn't fixed it. And it's just cost me £22. They haven't written back. So don't pay, don't pay these people any money, don't get their wind thruster or wind sweeper, just don't do it. So this is rubbish, doesn't fix this error code. So what I eventually found, this Microsoft page. I'll put the link in the description down below. So go to the link, genuine micro, yeah, support microsoft.com. Look, fix problems that block programs from being installed or removed, simple. Scroll down, download it, runs on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10, free software, don't have to spend any money like I did, so don't waste £22 or more on that rubbish software from these people. It says Microsoft Partner, Look, WinThruster, WinSweeper currently comes free at the moment, but this on Windows 10 was hanging, didn't even work, this didn't fix it, well, it's, it's all rubbish, junk software, you shouldn't need it. So go to, go to the link at the bottom of the page in the show more, download the program, run it. And if I pull up the picture, I did a screen capture. I should have done a screen capture on the error I was getting. So it gives you the programs installed on the PC and tells you to click on the program that you're having trouble with once you click download. So I did a screen capture and look, trouble Troubleshooting has completed. Cannot install or uninstall a program. Fixed. So I closed all this down, restarted the computer, and I got the error. And I thought, oh, this hasn't repaired it. So still having the software on the hard drive, even though I haven't got a mouse and keyboard anymore, I reinstalled this Microsoft Mouse and Keyboard Center. After that program ran and fixed the error, this then installed. Fine, no problems. Once it was installed, went to uninstall, and that's it, problem gone. So I just brought this up just to show you, but it will install, but I don't want to install it. So this free program from Microsoft does fix a lot of errors. Yeah, I, I, I should have carried on looking, but I thought, well, 20 pound, let a program do it. it. Might even improve the computer. It didn't. So to reiterate, I wouldn't recommend buying this because it didn't fix my problem, even though look, this is their web page. It says it gets rid of this error, 1612, and then to reinstall, I was getting 1603, something like that. Didn't fix it, so junk, junk software. Go to this link in the show more, click on it, find your program that you're having trouble with, uh, run it. If, you, if, you've st if you're still getting errors, Fix the program with this, then try uninstalling it. If it doesn't work, find the original program, reinstall it, that corrects all the registry entries, and then uninstall it. And that's all I did, and problem solved. 
hopefully this will help you if you're having trouble with any of these windows and it won't cost you a penny. Thank you very much.